Hey guys, it's Natasha. Welcome to Natasha's Creations. So if you're subscribed, you know that I recently posted um, a little three-part series called Stargazer, a love story. And I'm actually really proud of it. I drew the whole thing myself on my drawing tablet. It's kind of like an animatic. It's not an animation because I just drew all the slides and then animated those. So I just want to talk about how this whole story came about. So it all started with a rock. If you don't know this, I am obsessed with rocks. Um, I like to collect them and I'm not really into like the whole metaphysical properties of crystals thing, but crystal stores and like witchy magic stores are a great place to go buy rocks. So I went there and I got this little meteorite that's super tiny. And it was like really cool because it was like Ollivanders where she was like, she had like a bunch of them on her hand and she was like, close your eyes and pick the one you're most drawn to. And so I was most drawn to this one. And I really like it because it looks like a creature. Like even my laptop thought it was an animal. Um, it likes to tag things based on like what it sees in the picture and it tagged a picture of this meteorite as photo with animal or something like that. So that was, that was weird. So I decided that this thing needed to be a character of some sort. So I drew it and I named it Stargazer because it came from the stars and it looks like it's like looking up into the sky. So Stargazer. But I still didn't have a story for him. So I really like this podcast called Creature Feature. And on one of the first few episodes, they talked about how these scientists were trying to repopulate this area with this type of bird that's kind of like a seagull. So they built these statues of the bird and in the statues they put like little voice boxes with the bird's call, but it didn't work. Only one seagull, so I'm gonna call them, only one seagull showed up and he fell in love with one of the bird statues. And I guess these birds mate for life, so this was his life partner. And eventually they fixed the bird call and like a whole bunch of other seagulls came in and like they would try to interact with him and he just wanted to be with his little statue mate. So it was very sad and I decided that that was going to be Stargazer's story. And then um, the part about Galatea being frozen in shock and needing to thaw out also is based on something I heard on Creature Feature. Apparently there are these frogs that will freeze and like basically turn to stone. Um, and I think it's just for like the winter and then in the springtime they thaw out. So that's, that's where that idea came from. And then I called it a tale as old as time because the name Galatea and bits and pieces of the story itself are based on the Pygmalion myth. Um, from Greek mythology about this guy who creates a statue of like his dream girl and falls in love with that. And I think that myth was adapted into a Shakespeare play and then that play was adapted into the movie Pretty Woman. So it's a tale as old as time. It's been retold a bunch of times. So that's basically the whole premise behind Stargazer. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I know it's not like the best story. I mean, the writing is a little cringy and the pacing's not great, but it's my first attempt at storytelling. Um, and so I am proud. I also really love the story itself. I think it's so cute and Stargazer is adorable. Um, and there's definitely some life lessons thrown in there. That's basically it. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.